Right, so I'm going to show you how to change the default liveries in Ride the Game. Basically, I've got a ZX7R and it's black, and they don't give you black, they give you a green or a green and purple, which is pretty standard, but I wanted to try and ride my one as such. So um, I went from this to this. So it's as close as I can get to my road version of the bike. I don't have an RR, unfortunately. But anyway. Um, I will show you how you can change it to go from a default to black or you could do it to any colour that you, you see fit. To do this you need Photoshop and two other, well one other program called Mix File Remix, don't worry I'll put all the uh, links in the description. And you also need a texture editor for Photoshop. So you need to download both of these. So we start with this one. And then we need to download this, but I've already installed this, so but I had to get the 64-bit version, if you're wondering. So I've downloaded the mixer, remixer. I've made a file on my desktop for it all. I'll put that in there. And extract it to here. All right. Next, you need to get your uh, where your game files are. So the easiest way to do it is to find the game in your library, which is here. Properties, local files, browse local content. All right. So this is the game files. If you go to bikes. And the bike that I wanted was in hsbk.mix. Let me just delete that because that was the, this is the, my backup. So I need this one here. Now to start off with, I recommend backing up everything that you do because you might bugger it up, it might go wrong, it might go corrupt. So I'll make a copy of that. which is quite a large file really, it's 723 meg so it's just nearly doing it don't need steam open anymore right, so there we go, there's my copy so if I rename, rename that I'm just going to back up so this is the one that I'll be editing so if we go back to mix file remix open it up this is what extracts everything that's in here so I need to browse to it so I'm already on it but if you copy that from there put that in there jump straight to it so I want to extract everything from hsbk.mix so open there we go that's all the files in here so there's quite a lot of files so now we need to extract it to here, so in here, so I want to extract, it, extract all the files in the mix file, yep. Unless you want to do the same bug as mine and then you'll know and everything, but no, the best thing to do is extract every single file and then you repack every file. So it's 1556 files, that might take a few seconds, might take a few minutes on your computer depending on how fast it is. Uh, getting there slowly. Nearly done. Right, so let's say done, so leave that open. Right, there we go, right, so here we go, ride the game, bikes, HSBK. Now I know that the bike I want is in 405 because I've been here so many times. But if you don't know, type in gauge. He says. There we go. Type in gauge and hopefully you did the same as I did and be able to find your bike by the gauge. That's my gauge there. The ZX7 are clocks. They are quite distinct to some others, so that's how I knew it was them. So with that, I want to oh I'm gonna go properties, I want to right click on open file location and there we go. So just for clarity 
it is in the bikes folder that you extracted HSBK 405 pictures and then you have all these pictures like the chain of sprockets, the clocks, the bumps, everything like that. So I know that this is I'm going to try over. This is the other one that they have and this one's mine. It doesn't come out brilliant on the picture viewer. I'll show you a different one in a minute, but basically I need to right click, open with Adobe Photoshop. Hopefully you would have installed the um add-on for this, the plugin from NVIDIA, which is brilliant. So as soon as I open it, it goes NVIDIA DDS read properties. I load using default and I will show the dialog. Press OK. There we go. You can see this is the same as the one that I had the in-game because it's called the Kawasaki stick. It's got the ninja on the tank. It's got the weird front bit. It's got a different front bit there. You know, if you wanted to edit different bits of it, you'd have to play around, but for simple and ease, all I did was I highlighted all of it. Well, I unlocked the layer first and I highlighted all of it, deleted it all, found a black, and I went black. File, save. When I've done this, I left everything default and I just went save. Just a few seconds. There you go, saved. So now. Close that because I don't need any more. It's all black. That one there is the one that we edited, which is black. So once you're happy and you've done that, you can then go all the way back and find your mesh, mesh mixer. Oh, your mix file remix. Right, now you need to create a new mix file. So you need to browse to this location here where bikes is, which is ride the game bikes. And you don't want to select bikes. And that's the one that it'll do. So it'll pack bikes and HSBK. If you do another bike, you need to put it into a different group, otherwise it'll pack everything and bugger up the whole game. So every time you do a different mix, I suggest deleting that bikes folder and start again. So right, so everything in bikes, so we press OK. It's loaded everything in it. The only thing I need to change that I found out was this one, so SBKX V8. For some reason the other ones don't work, I mean this is probably a bit old for the game. Uh, I'm not inclined to make one or even look into making one. I wouldn't even know where to start. Anyway, browse, so now this is where you're saving it. I don't... You can save it straight in here, but this is the one here. So this is saving in the Steam, Steam apps, common ride game bikes. You're overwriting the hsbk.mix right here. This is your backup one, just in case it goes wrong, the game doesn't like it, or you've done something that isn't meant to be. So you can always restore. I mean, you could delete it and download it again, but anyway. So I want to save under that one, over that one. So yes, replace. So, and now, pack new mix file. Click pack new mix file, and it starts packing. And this is putting it into the game folder. So if we go on to bikes here, Right, it's done, and that mix file is incredible. This is the old one, this is the new one. It's not compressed it nowhere near as much as the game does. This might result in um, longer loading times and things like that, but generally I found it works. So right, let's get into the game. So I need to go into Steam. Library, ride the game, play. Oh, uh, play. I've already done my video settings, I wrote it beforehand. Alright, here we go. <coughs> now, if you um, if you didn't select the SBK10 V8, you'll get an error and it will crash to desktop when it's loading in a minute. So, this is the auto save warning rubbish. Here it will load when you press enter. It will load. Right, it's because I've got the pre-order. So here we go. This is where it's loading, and this is where it will crash the desktop if you do the wrong pack. But if not, it will all work absolutely fine. 
so I, I think it takes a little bit longer to load but there you go black bike straight away I mean it looks more like a uh, a flat black I haven't found out how you get um, anything else but if I go world tour a sec I can show you it in 3d under the customized bike there you go it's all black now really you can do whatever color you want you can even try and copy some race replicas you know and um go mad to your heart's content now my bike's got a silver polished frame so i might try and do that but you can see how the frame's black and this isn't black it's more of a gray black but as close as i've got at the moment until i play around with it it's something to do with the shaders and stuff but um yeah anyway that is how you change your liveries in game to something that is completely custom um i hope this video has helped people um let me know your thoughts and comments on it um you can change anything you want about it um even the clocks if you you wish to i suppose but anyway thanks for watching hope this helped don't forget to like and subscribe for more